Hey guys, how are you? So here we are with a G737 B2 throttle from ThrottleTech. I'm gonna set it up with Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is still uh, a work in progress. But anyways, our throttles work perfectly for now with the software. So let's start. First, uh, we go to control panel. We look up for the throttle tech controller. There it is. Go to game controller settings, properties. And this is very important. We have to calibrate the throttle properly in order to use it. So we're gonna start the calibration. So for the calibration, you might see that the little cross is jumping all around. That's totally normal. As soon as I start, start moving the axis, that uh, should be fixed. So here we go. Okay, then we leave it at the middle. There it is. We click up on next. And go next. And we leave them centered. There we go. Then we go for the next axis, which is the flaps axis. Do it at least two to three times. That should be more than enough. Okay, and you click next. And then we go with the speed brake. Once again, you have to put your fingers in between here, because there's a switch. So you start moving it, okay. Couple of times, there we go. That is set, and we click next. So that finished our calibration for the throttle, and we can check it. As long as it goes from the lower down right part of the screen all the way to the left one, it's doing it okay. For the flaps, same thing, same thing. Remember, you have to drop it in order to work it properly, and we check speed brakes. Yep. Working perfectly. So we'll go to apply. Then okay. And our throttle is calibrated. So let's go to the flight simulator. Okay guys, so here we are. So we have a, an Airbus for Boeing throttle. Sorry about this, it's the only twin engine jet in a flight simulator available. So when we wanna set a control here, it's a little bit different than what we're used to. We go to escape and we'll go to controls. And we select it's gonna appear throttle tech here, the profile for throttle tech. So we go for the throttle tech profile. Okay, once we're there, you're not gonna see this at, at the beginning. So, uh, so it's gonna be like, like this. It's gonna appear something like this, right? So we go to where it says flight control surfaces. We have primary, secondary, and control trimming surfaces. First of all, we go to primary control surfaces. And up here, Basically, there's no assign because there's nothing we're gonna be using here. Then we go to secondary control surfaces, and here we see what we're gonna be using. So we expand, expand them all. So you can see it's 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 a little bit um, it's a little bit complicated. Anyways, you go to Secondary control surfaces and power management, basically. Secondary control surfaces over here. We want to set up the axis. We go, we click here. Okay, let's, let's do it like, like, like it hasn't been done. So we're gonna clear the current input. So we want to set up the axis. We put scan and you have to move the axis all the way up and down so it detects it. So it, it is detected now, we we'll put validate, and that's it. And now you can, you can try up the axis, see, you can see it moving here. It's moving all the way. You do the same for the spoilers, the same for the throttles. Let's, let's, let's try one of the throttles, just for fun. Let's do throttle one. So we're gonna clear here the current input. I'm gonna start scanning it, and I'm gonna start doing it here. There it is. It's detected now. So you go to validate, and that's it. Apply save, and then you go back. 
For switches, it's the exact same thing. You, you want to select the switch, you can go here, span, collapse, all, go to essentials, and then you go to whatever you want to add a switch for. Okay, so say flight control surfaces, secondary control surfaces, um, let's see, expand, collapse, old. Here. So there we go. Flight control surface, there we go. Secondary control surfaces. Here we want, we can add a switch. For example, toggle spoilers. We could do it through a switch. So let's say we want to do with the parking brake. We'll start scanning. That will detect the switch. See? So this is how you assign switches in uh, Flight Simulator 2020. So we'll clear this. Sorry, we'll cancel this and that's it. So we'll go back. We resume here and uh, we can go and check it out. So here you go. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try the throttles first. There they go. You can try one, you can try the other, all working, beautiful. Well, flaps, right now we have a Boeing flaps, it should do the work here, so, there we go. And, flaps full, that's it. There's a lot of tweaking and tuning that has to be done with flight simulator still for work to work properly. Let me see if I can have to disarm this first. Let me see if I can do it. In order to work the speed brakes. Oh well. Yeah. Anyways, it's not gonna work because it's in the arm position. But you can see this, the speed brake lever, it's moving all the way to 100, see? This is because of the system logic that throws it back to zero because it's on. But there it is, it's moving. Okay guys, so this is it. One more thing, sorry about this. So one more thing, so by some chance you have problems with sensitivity, with, with the throttles, you can, you can move it here. I uh, checked for uh, speed brakes, I put it at 16, which is very good. Throttles at zero, and for flaps I put it at 5% and it's working like a charm. So, I uh, hope you enjoy uh, this video, hope you enjoy your throttles, and thank you for uh, watching this video from Throttle Tech.